So problem wants us to simplify a complicated fraction where there's an exponent being applied to the entire fraction. There's a lot of negative exponents involved. We want to simplify it one step at a time. There's many ways that you could go about this. Uh, one way would be to simplify what's in the parentheses first, and I'll show that method. However, we don't have to follow PEMDAS here because we have sort of some advanced exponent rules that we could apply instead. Uh, so the other approach to this would be to apply the negative three exponent to all, let's say, entities in the parentheses. Okay, now I'll, I'll show both methods. If I was simplifying what's in the parentheses first, uh, what we'll do is we'll try to reduce. I'll also use the subtraction rule of exponents on the a's because they're alike. And then I'll do the subtraction rule on the b's as well because they're alike, having the same base. Okay, so to reduce the fraction, you want to divide both the top and bottom by a common factor, such as 3. 3 is a factor that both 24 and 15 share. Uh, 24 over 3 would be 8, and 15 over 3 is 5. So that's one thing we got to do, simplify those. Uh, now, I'm going to use the subtraction rule where I subtract the exponents of A. So it's going to be 3 minus negative 2. And you can't forget the double negative here. Subtraction because it's a fraction, but the denominator exponent has a negative. So it's double negative. And then same thing for the B's. We're going to get negative 2 minus negative 4. So now I'll just simplify those exponents. 3 plus 2 makes 5. And negative 2 minus negative 4 is like negative 2 plus 4 which makes two. All right, now my inside of the parentheses is completely simplified. So now what I have to do, I gotta apply the negative three power to all entities inside the parentheses. So he gets sent to everybody. So you'll have eight to the negative three, eight to the five to the negative three, and b squared to the negative three all over 5 to the negative 3. Okay, that gets rid of the outer parentheses, but we now have to use some other rules of exponents. When you have a power being raised to another power, the rule is to multiply their exponents. So a to the m raised to the power of n becomes a to the m times n. Uh, so we're going to get this and this. One more thing that needs to be done is when we have a negative power, such as a to the negative m, that a should be moved down below, and then we can change the sign of his power. Similarly, if we have 1 over a to a negative power, we'll move him to the top and change the sign of his power. So this rule would make our 8 go below, and the A has to go below, the B has to go below too, and the 5 will actually come up above. So everybody switches positions, and we switch the, the sign of the exponent. It's almost complete, however, in order to be completely simplified, we should do these exponents on calculator. Uh, 5 to the 3 is 125. 8 to the 3 would be 64 times 8, which is 512. You don't have to worry about simplifying the numbers, though, any further, because they don't share any factors in common, so it's not going to be simplifiable. So that was one way of approaching it. The other way would have been to just straight away send that negative 3 to all entities in the parentheses. It should be that no matter how you do it, you get the same answer. So we would have had 24 to the negative 3, 
a to the negative 9, b to the 6, 15 to the negative 3, a to the 6, b to the 12. And then you just go from there. I'll do the subtraction rule. Then we'll switch the side of everybody so everybody flips from top to bottom and bottom to top. One thing that made this one a little more challenging though is we got really big numbers to work with. You could just guess at what factor they share in common. Start with two, and if that doesn't work, try three. They're both gonna be divisible by three. And they're gonna be divisible by three again. Not only that, they're divisible by three one more time. But that's it. And it matches our other answer.